Chris Potter here from the Friends of Hengus Local Nature Reserve. I'm going to talk to you about how we look after our oak sleepers for our project. So it's really important that you measure up your area first and prepare the ground uh, before your materials arrive. You'll save loads of time if you if you if you do that beforehand. And when you start putting your sleepers in place, just make sure that all your sleepers are are nice and level and that they're not rocking around very much. So you can use bits of soil underneath to to fix that. To cut the sleepers, measure and mark them twice and then I use a, a, a square to mark two adjacent sides with a carpenter's pencil and this gives a, a really really strong line uh, as a guide if you're cutting them with a chainsaw or if you're brave with a handsaw or use a miter saw. If you are having right angles in your beds make sure they are right angles we use a, a, a picture framing square to do that and when you're attaching your sleepers together, you have to pre-drill. The oak's too hard and the screws aren't quite strong enough. So 23 centimeter long auger bit. And we use uh, hex headed screws, normal uh, Phillips screws. They'll just get threaded uh, when you start going through the oak. So hex headed screws and because they'll protrude, we countersink them I'm using a 22 mil wide um, auger uh, bit for that. And then you just knock them in with an impact driver. But even then, sometimes there's a there's a knot or a particularly hard bit of the oak. And I have a, a, a socket and, and wrench set. So a long socket. And it just tightens it up all together. And works a treat. In between the, the courses, just make sure that you clean your sleepers off. And if you've got any bits of uh, wood sticking up, whatever, you just take them off. But some of these sleepers are like banana shaped when they arrive. So use your brackets to lock them into place when you attach them. And that's at both ends really, if you can do that, it saves a lot of hassle. And this is the end of our, our little trial section. So the ground is all ready for our main delivery. When you sort out your deliveries, uh, get them to arrive early on the day you need them, get them as close to your site as possible. Like you can see there, the bags can be dropped off, the bags of salt can be dropped off, dropped off exactly where you need them. Um, I tack the, the membrane on, if you need the membrane, we don't want the soil to go in between the courses of the, the oak sleepers. And if you get the soil exactly where you need them, it just saves absolutely loads of time and effort. Um, it, it, it's a very sensible thing to do. So first delivery, get your oak sleepers, build your beds. Second delivery, get the soil dropped straight in. And there we go, that's our bed, our retaining wall, ready for our wildflower turf to arrive in October. Thank you very much. See you next time.